the next thing is what you just described to me about this feeling of why am I doing this? Why am I putting in this, this in my body? That alone in and of itself will cause you to have more pain. And yeah. here's the, here, here's the reason why for those that, that don't understand this concept, but there's something called a placebo effect. That is something that happens when we are given a medication and we, we have heard favorable things about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, let's use a uh, low dose naltrexone. Okay. Some people here speak highly of that. And if we believe that L LDN will help us and make things better, then the chance of it actually doing that is significantly higher. Now, if you have this orexia and you are sitting there thinking this, why am I doing this? This is poison for my body, blah, 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 blah. The chances it'll make the pain worse is exponentially higher. Yeah. And that's called the nocebo effect. That's the reverse of the placebo. Another good example of this is if I gave you two tubes of lotion and they're both CeraVe, <laughs> no, uh -huh. non-scented CeraVe lotion. One tube, it says this will hurt, this will burn. The other tube, it says, this will help. This will feel good. If I did that with a group of people and they trusted me, what would happen is not only would the group that got the, this will hurt lotion, will they report that it's painful and it burns, but they'll also have redness on their skin from the lotion. And then the other group, if I give this will feel good, not only will they report it'll feel good, but they might even have like a temperature drop or report a tingling feeling in their skin. This, remember, these are both Sarah V. <laughs> um, and so this is pure proof of the placebo and nocebo effect manifest. So two yeah. answers to